Wuthering FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 4 0 defeat to Braintree in the National League South. Adam, what were your thoughts after that one? Um, I thought we played well first half. Um, their kit made two unbelievable saves and we're 3 0 down. Um, you know, we're obviously missing some players, but yeah, we don't want to make any excuses. Um, you can look at a whole lot of things. Um, you know, it's a, it's a wide free kick, we can see the first one. Um, second one's on, on the counter attack where we're not organised and it's a one long ball. I think Joe Felix has a shot when maybe it's a bad decision. Um, and then it goes down the other end and ends up in net. And then, you know, penalty, which is very similar to one that we have. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's tough. I thought, you know, we actually played some good stuff, some good patterns, I'd say, some good good stuff in there but ultimately 3 nil down and then the second half comes a little bit irrelevant because I'm never going to be one to just you know we, we still try to go for it we've made two set changes at half time uh, Mickey come on and had a 1v1 quite early um, again um, maybe if that goes in it, you know it changes the complex of the game but yeah listen it's a, it's a humbling defeat we, we didn't enjoy it too much um, and I don't think we've got anyone to blame ourselves ultimately um, but yeah it's a very young back line today and maybe that showed and maybe you know I've got to look at when you come to places like Braintree you need a bit more experience but you know it was one of those things forced upon us Liam was supposed to be starting at left back um, you know, maybe that gives us a bit more balance, um, and then he tweaks his calf um, in the in the warm up. Um, so then we have to make a change, and, and Bailey comes and gets a start on the right hand side. I thought the big pitch might suit him, and you know he got in some good areas and, and done some really good stuff. And you know, I think you know he's got a bit, looks a bit low on confidence. Got to have a bit more belief in himself, and he can have a real impact for us. So yeah, all in all, we like I say don't want to take anything away from them. I thought you know they. They played well, took their chances when they had to, when they was um, gifted to them. And, um, yeah, we've got to, got to take it on the chin and, and try and move on to Tuesday um, as quickly as we can. You mentioned Liam Vincent being missing there and, and the reason why. Aaron Racine was also missing. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nicky Wheeler and Greg Lurk. How come they went inside to that? Um, so Aaron's um, partners uh, give birth to their second child on, on Wednesday. Um, so, yeah, he wasn't here because of that. Um, Nicky Wheeler's got a slight problem to his calf and Greg's got a whack on his big toe. Um, you know, so straight away you have to make some big changes and like I say, we don't want to hide behind anything and we won't and then obviously Liam in the warm-ups there's four players uh, that go down. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, that's why we've got a squad, uh, that's why we've got players in on loan um, to try and cover those spaces and uh, yeah, it just wasn't meant to materialise. I don't think you can come here and, um, you know, be under par and have players that are trying to play their way in. Um, you know, maybe introducing, in hindsight, introducing two new fresh players into the side and one at the heart of our defence was, was a mistake. Um, you know, hindsight's, hindsight's brilliant, wonderful thing. And, um, yeah, so, listen, we'll, we'll take it on the chin. It's... It's uh, very disappointing, um, humbling. We've had great turnout, good, good following again, and you know we've become second best. And you know that's what happens in this league. It, if you're not at it for 45 minutes, the game can get away from you, and that's what's happened today. You mentioned outgoings there, but we have also had ingoings. Baby Smith uh, coming in today. Look, like you've got, as you said, into some good areas today, and uh, you had Luke Woodhouse at centre back today as well. What was the thinking time behind those two guys coming in? Um, yeah, obviously, if you've got four players missing, then you need four players to go in, really. So, you know, Luke is a centre back. Um, it'd mean shifting maybe Joel into centre back and Joe Felix the right back. Um, you know, so you've got to give these players an opportunity and, and hope they take it when, when it's gifted to them. But, um, yeah, I'm sure all the lads that are back home looking at the result come in, it'll be. Expecting to be straight back in the side now, and uh, you know that's the the harsh reality when you when you're a player and you get your opportunity, you've got to take it. No matter sort of what age you are, you've got to be ready to take that opportunity. And um, yeah, I, like I say, I thought Bailey's gonna only get better for us. I think uh, he's lacking a bit of confidence. You can see that, um, but 
you know, his pace and power, I think, will scare teams, um, and, it, and it proved it today. You know, probably similar penalty to their one. Don't know whether we need to do a bit of a, a session on diving so that we get some decisions our way. But any any 50-50 on on the pitch, um, I'd, I'd say 80-90% they seem to to won it. Like, I think it was just a coming together for the free kick that got given. Bailey had one down there. It's not given. We had a penalty. Not given, and it's given down the other end. And you know what I mean? Like, don't know whether it's offside, the goal or not. You know, so there's all those factors that come into play. But you know, we we can't control that. We can't control the officials. You know, not not giving us decisions. What can we control? We can we can defend the the box better. We can show a bit more aggression to our play. Um, and they're the things that we'll be trying to control come Tuesday.